In this video, we check into the luxurious Movenpick Mega Resort in Boracay. We experience their service. We stay in their rooms. We swim in their massive pool. We eat in their restaurants. We explore all their facilities. We get beached in their own private beach. We dance the night away. Join us to share our experience at Movenpick Boracay. Our first night in Boracay was at the Chill Out Hostel, the absolute cheapest place to stay in Boracay. Be sure to watch our review of Chill Out Hostel, link in the description. After our night there, we were quite excited to go to our next hotel, the luxurious Movin Pick Resort in Boracay. Movin Pick, sir, alam mo yun? Uh, we rode an e-trike over to the resort. Once we arrived, we were amazed at the actual size of the resort. It sits on a massive 3.4 hectare lot with its own private beach. When we arrived, we were immediately surprised by the service and surroundings of the place. The place really exudes a luxury vibe. Our rooms were not ready yet, so we decided to tour the resort and have some lunch. All the open areas had the most beautiful tropical landscaping. They even had a kids play area slash daycare where you can drop off your tots while go gallivanting around the resort. Then we went swimming in the massive swimming pool. This is the largest pool on the island, measuring in at 3,300 square meters. And of course, we had to order some drinks by the pool. Oh. After drinks, it was time for lunch. For starters, we got the Vietnamese egg rolls. Damien got the crispy chicken fingers from the kids menu. Izzy got the ham and cheese sandwich from the kids menu as well. I got the tonkatsu plate. Crystal got the bibimbap and the tteokboki. So I'm gonna try tteokboki. Mm, it's really spicy, but I really like it. Woo! <laughs> I normally eat the instant one and it, you can tell how the difference is. This one's really good and they have egg. Overall, I like it. Tokboki and I guess it's sticky rice and some red sauce. Let's give it a try. It's chewy and spicy. Not my thing. <laughs> Here's the Vietnamese egg roll. Usually they serve Vietnamese egg roll. You wrap it lettuce and you put mint. But this is just, this is it. So we'll give it a try different from the regular but it's pretty good yeah carrots pork noodles sprout flavorful very good bibimbap give it a try it looks amazing it's got rice egg carrots greens beef all right look at that here we go down the hatch pretty damn good bibimbap <laughs> everything seems to be fresh good flavor good crunch to the veggies good texture of the mushrooms beef's good too pretty good Ooh. let's give uh, the katsu a try there you go Meaty and juicy. Breading looks really good. Pretty fat piece of meat inside. Excellent. Another thing is they have really good serving sizes here. American serving size. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's gone. <laughs> Here's a tour of the rooms that we had. We had two connecting rooms that were perfect for families. The first room had a king size bed with a beautiful bathroom and a balcony. It was a really big room. Here's Izzy riding on a suitcase for scale. The other room was a double room with two double beds. Another beautiful shower and a balcony as well. Both rooms had really big closets with safes and bathrooms. After getting settled in our rooms, we went back to the pool for some more swimming. Here at the private beach of Movin Pick Resort. As you can see, this is a tropical paradise in itself. And around there, the sand isn't quite the quality of the uh, white beach sand. This is about the same kind of sand you get in Hawaii. Coral sand, very nice still though. Not like flour on the other beach, it's more like sugar. So yeah, I wish you were here. After getting beached, we went to town to the main white beach to see that amazing sunset. After sunset, we had some serious Japanese food at Hama Japanese Restaurant. Watch the video of our full trip to see more. We returned to Moven Peak to see what was going on at night. It was quite beautiful, all lit up at night. Then we heard some music coming from the beachfront bar area. Into the groove, boy. 
You gotta prove. We found that they had a DJ spinning some tunes for a beachfront dance party. All right. We went to the beach to have our own sandy dance floor. Watch Izzy go. The next morning, we headed to the breakfast buffet. It was quite the spread. They had different cuisines available from the usual waffles and pancakes to Filipino classics, a full salad bar, fresh omelet chef, and a full dessert bar. They even had an espresso machine available. Overall, it was very good. Here's our final thoughts before leaving Movenpick. All right, it is our last day here at Movenpick Resort, and I recommend coming here. If you are not on such a tight budget, definitely spend the extra money because it's worth it. Service here, first of all, was amazing. Every time we were at a restaurant here, the water in my cup was never empty. Somebody put water in it. Everything I wanted, somebody gave it to me. And then as far as the facility, it's massive and it's really well maintained. There's a really awesome pool that your kids are gonna love. And the beach, semi-private, there's about three resorts that share this one big beach. The sand isn't as fine as the main beach, but it's pretty damn good. It's coral sand. I would say it's the texture of sugar. The main beach is the texture of flour. Here it's about the texture of sugar. The room was fantastic. The bathroom, super awesome. Very luxurious even to uh, American standards. Don't really have any complaints at all. The whole grounds was really good. They even had a little party by the beach that uh, lasted not too late, just till around 10. We were able to dance on the sand. If you're ever out here, Mogan Pig's a pretty good place. If you're gonna travel, spend the extra money because it's worth it. And if you don't have the extra money, make more money. Hi, this is a four-star hotel, but my overall experience is five stars. I really love it here. You can tell the difference on like the quality of your towels, your bathroom experience, there's soap, you know, everything's there. Quality of your bed, the sheet, top-notch, I love it. And also, our free breakfast is really, really good. They have a lot of selections. They have a lot of selections also, as well with your drinks. The experience is really good. Okay, so the resort's tight class. My only issue was almost like a maze going through like the area. Like there's no direction. You don't know where the restrooms are. So I hope they just do something about it. Just adding like signage throughout the resort. Oh my gosh, the pool. I love the pool. So big. They have areas for everyone. The kids, the toddler. The, they have three restaurants. We've only tried the, the market and their food's really, really good. And also for parents, you love it here because they have a um, play area or daycare for kids, for toddlers. If you wanna have some time with your loved one, just have your own little two like date, you can drop them off there. If you don't have a nanny with you, you can definitely get a babysitting service there. It's about 500 pesos per hour per child. I mean, it's a little bit expensive, but if you really need it, they have it. Their service is really good. The staffs are so nice and polite. I love it. It's, it's for me, it's five stars. <laughs> wow, it was amazing. The internet was actually good this time. The beds were so comfortable. I had so good sleep last night. The service is super nice as well, and the food is... Awesome. Thanks for tuning in all the way to the end. We truly appreciate it. Perhaps we've even earned a like from you. Please subscribe to see more of our adventures. Ciao!